fruit tea is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our daily live health tip. Helping you lose some weight with some great little products, guys. So I mentioned this yesterday when we were talking about reducing our caffeine and one of those ways was to switch to fruit teas. Now, I've had lots of questions about this one. I mentioned it yesterday. So I thought I'd do an in-depth video exactly about this. So I have brewed it up, guys. So in my little cup here, I've got one of the pyramid bags and some hot water. Uh, and the instructions for use is add um, up to 100, obviously boiling water, um, 200 mils uh, and wait for five minutes. So why that is brewing, I will tell you a little bit about these tea bags. So it's first of all, it's raspberry and strawberry flavour uh, and the buyer brand called Lloyd. Uh, I think we got these uh, from Aldi um, in the special buy section. Uh, the ingredients, as always, let's go through those ingredients. Uh, so they're flavoured tea bags, raspberry and strawberries. Ingredients is apple. For those of you who have ever seen anything uh, fruit flavoured, especially berry flavoured, it's always got a bit of apple in there, uh, purely because apple is so flavoursome. So that's the number one ingredient. Uh, hibiscus flour, which again, uh, I particularly love hibiscus tea. Uh, so again, that adds some good quality tastiness in there. Raspberry, 10%. Uh, flavouring licorice 5% now I'm not a big fan of licorice but I actually don't think it smells or tastes of licorice again that's just the um, a different dimension I think it gives to it uh, strawberries is just 1% dried raspberries is uh, oh dried raspberry juice is 0.2% uh, juice concentrate um and oh it just a contain licorice should not be drank in a large amount obviously because licorice can have a laxative effect so do be careful when you switch on to something with licorice in here um and also on the box it just says about how the pyramid bags make the flavors explode so there's 20 bags in here. Uh, I believe it was about one pound for this, but let's now give it a try. So first of all, you can see it's got a lovely red color. It always smells so sweet and delicious. The reason I actually bought this box was back uh, at the start of this year. Remember when um, Costa were doing the 50p drinks and there, uh, fruit tea was actually amazing. So let's hope this one is as good as the Costa brand. As always with the fruit teas, smells a lot better than it tastes. <laughs> I think purely because we do, we do kind of eat with our nose and when you smell that really strong strawberry raspberry you just your mouth your mouth gets ready for sweetness i think that's always the anticlimax but it's tasty it's not like some of the fruit teas that i've had before but literally taste of nothing you can taste that hibiscus i really can't taste the licorice as well That's nice, especially first thing in the morning when, you know, our taste buds are a little bit more sensitive. If you had this later on on the day after food and stuff, you probably wouldn't taste it as nice. Uh, but when you've got a nice clean palate, uh, if you do have a fruit tea, you can really taste those lovely flavours. So that is my big tip today, guys. Try yourself a herbal tea, uh, especially if you, you go to work or something like that and there's always herbal teas there and fruit teas that you never really try. If you get a Costa coffee first thing in the morning or something like that, then try the fruit tea. As I said, your challenge this week is to try and lower your caffeine intake. Now, although there is a tiny little bit of caffeine still in these products, uh, certainly nowhere near to coffee or any black drinks like cola and tea as well. Uh, so cheers.
I hope you enjoy drinking your fruit tea. That was my review of the Lloyd Raspberry and Strawberry Herbal Tea. Goodbye.